uh, we generate the tree this time with a little pre-processing so let's take a new file and this time I want to make some modifications in this spell in balance scale dataset before executing the tree so let me first of all what the idea is I want to add a new column to this dataset which stores the result of the product of LW and L distance and the difference of this product with the product of right weight and right distance and let us see how the algorithm performs then first of all one very basic thing I'll have to convert the numerical attributes of this data set into uh, the nominal attributes into numerical because if the nominal attributes cannot be multiplied so I'll have to use numerical attributes so for that I'll have nominal to numerical operator here we go in type conversions nominal to numerical here we go let me just show you its output first alright you can insert breakpoints to see just the result after a particular operation so I've inserted a breakpoint after the retrieve operator we'll see the output difference of output between band scale dataset before and after this numerical nominal to numerical operator that's it play this is the data view before execution of nominal to numerical and again if I hit play this is what happens if I use that nominal to numerical operator you see the of the data types have been changed these four attributes LW, L distance, right weight and right distance are all numerical now but the thing is their range is from 0 to 4 let us see the data view now you see all values are between 0 to 4 but this creates a problem for us we don't want the values to exist from 0 to 4 we want to we want them to be still between 1 and 5 but we want them to be numerical so in other words we want to add 1 to all these attributes so how can we do that this time we select another operator this is called generate attribute generate attributes now what we want is to change the value of all the existing attributes and add one to it so here we click on this in the parameters we click on edit list and here we say add entry so what we want is a new attribute named say left LW2 and its value should be LW plus 1 right and similarly I want to add other attributes I can now I want left distance 2 with a value of left distance plus 1 I want a right weight with the right weight plus 1 and I want a right distance 2 with rd plus 1 that's it so these are the four attributes and I want all of them to be changed and I click OK the thing this checkbox is over here keep all means keep the existing attributes and the new attributes as well but in this case I don't want to keep all of them I just want to keep the new attributes with the one incremented value so let me just insert remove this breakpoint add a breakpoint over here see the difference between these two working of these two operators so first time when the data was fetched we had four numeric values in the range from 0 to 4 and now if I play the run button now I'll see the output of the process uh, the operator that generated the new attributes here you see we have four attributes new names that we mentioned over there 
and here you see their value ranges are from 1 to 5 we can also see this in the data view here you go so we have corrected we have fixed that error but the thing one thing is still missing the thing we started for we want to generate a new attribute that has the value of the formula that we discussed in the start so we again use this generate attribute and this time we go to the edit list and now we want to add entry we name it the say the answer attribute the answer attribute will calculate will have three values you say positive negative and zero we want to calculate the answer of the difference between two products and the answer should be either it is positive negative or zero so let us start it is it is actually done through uh, if function so let us use that if so we'll specify here if lw2 multiply by l left distance 2 so first of all we want to calculate this product if this product and subtract rw2 product with r distance 2 we want to calculate this and see if it is greater than 0 less than 0 or equal to 0 so for that we will use if operator so if this condition is true is if it is greater than 0 the name of that attribute should be say left if it is not the case we will again have to use if operator then this time we will check if it is equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 then it is balanced oh sorry it won't be let me correct it and on if it is not equal to 0 then it will be right but one thing I want to correct over here is it shouldn't we shouldn't have left balanced right we will use the answer is positive or the answer is zero or the answer is negative so this is how this function should work it is a nested if function okay okay and now let us see uh, and in this case we want to keep all of them we will keep this checkbox checked because we don't want to remove previous attributes so let us see how it works here we go to the data view here you see this is a new attribute has been added and it calculates the value for all the operations so let me check that formula again yes it works fine it should work fine let us discuss the answer again here we go so yes for example 4 multiply 1 is 4 and when subtract 3 from it we will get a positive answer we will get 0 when 4 is multiplied by 4 and we will get a negative answer when 4 is 5 is subtracted from 4 so this is working perfectly fine so now we have created we have pre-processed it to find a to make a new attribute now let's apply that tree on this 
decision tree I'm not going into the details of that cross validation operator I just want to apply the tree over here and see how it works and I hit play here you go so this is a very simple tree with simple based on the answer of that calculation if that answer is positive it is left tilt if the answer is negative it is right tilt if the answer is zero it is balanced so this shows that if you have if you have any prior information provided to the algorithm and the algorithm performs much better and uh, in the previous case the algorithm failed to produce useful results because we didn't provide this information to the algorithm and this classification will also work 100% fine so the performance is increased the tree is simple so whenever you have any prior knowledge about data set do give it to the algorithm in it is usually done in